Today we're going to be discussing Ballet Russe, or in English, Russian Ballet. The Russian Ballet was an artistic movement during the 20th century in Europe, especially in Russia. It represented various themes throughout its works, especially classical, romantic, expressionist, and abstract ideas. The Ballet Russe performed many classical ballets, some that are even still popular today. Some of these include Swan Lake, The Firebird, and Giselle. Swan Lake, produced and performed in 1911, was choreographed by Marius Petipa. The music for this ballet was composed by Tchaikovsky, who also later composed music for The Nutcracker. The Firebird was produced in 1910. It was choreographed by Michael Fokine and composed by Igor Stravinsky. Giselle, like the Firebird, was produced in 1910. However, it was choreographed by Jean Coralie and composed by Adolf Adam. Ballet Russe, like I said earlier, was an artistic movement. It took place during the 20th century, from 1909 to 1929. Because of this short time period and how it was localized to Europe, primarily in Russia and Paris, there weren't many dancers, especially compared to some of the dance companies nowadays, like ABT, or American Ballet Theater, which has companies all over the world. Three of the female dancers were Anna Pavlova, Tamara Karsarina, Olga Spresiseva. Three male dancers were Anton Dolin, Michael Fokin, who was also a choreographer, and George Balanchine, who was also a choreographer. The last video was a clip of Olga Spresiseva and Anton Dolin in Giselle. For the last segment of this video, you'll see a modern day ballet class doing two exercises at the bar, and then a clip of Alessandra Ferri, an Italian ballerina. Mm -hmm.